What's going on guys? My name is Newtown and welcome back to another gameplay commentary for me here today And what I got for you guys is the highest kill search and rescue game as of December 14th 2013 for search and rescue so uh, I hope you guys do enjoy that it's not really that skillful and uh, You know, I just kind of abused trick shotters for seven rounds and unfortunately the first round I died and I didn't really abuse them too much in the first three rounds so it, it, this could have been like a 50 to 75 kill game if i played my cards right and uh you know done a little bit better to abuse them so that's pretty much it about the gameplay let me know what you guys think about abusing trick shotters because it's the only way that you're going to get like these super super high scoring games like no one else is not going to shoot you while reviving their teammates like that's it, it, there's no other possible way in, in my opinion that it's going to happen so uh let me know what you guys think about me doing this and and what you guys think about me posting it i, I personally don't like the thought of it because i'm a very objective player most of the time and i like to go for wins and i don't typically just bait tags unless i'm going full bait where i'm trying to go for like abusing a trick shot or gameplay or some stuff like that but I don't know. Uh, it, on the other side of, the, even though like this isn't objective, both sides win from this situation. I get the opportunity to get a whole bunch of kills, and they get the opportunity to spin in circles as many times as they can to their heart's desires and uh, try to trick shot someone who's actually shooting back, and it makes what they're doing more legitimate uh, than if someone set up for them or if uh, people were just trying to collect tags so i think this is kind of a win-win for both sides in my opinion but i don't know it's still kind of this shady gray gray area where um you know somewhat i should feel bad but i don't <laughs> but uh yeah let me know what you guys think and, and let me know if you guys want me to go for like a solo chem strike or like higher scoring games than this you know potentially a 50 60 70 80 kill game if that's even possible uh, let me know and um i'll see what i can do if you want me to do it if you don't that's fine with me i have other gameplays and, and search and destroy and search and rescue that i play the objective and i you know try to win so i want to help you guys out there you know potentially try to abuse your own trick shotters and, and figure out a system to uh, make it so that you can get as many kills as you possibly can in a game of search and rescue so uh let's get started with the class loadout you're gonna have probably one main class against trick shotters to abuse them and it, the first thing i'd have to recommend is using a light machine gun as your weapon uh, my favorite two are the m27 and the lsat and i'd probably give it the, the edge to the m27 if you had to pick one uh, because it, it shoots a little bit slower and you can conserve a little bit more ammo slightly better and it reloads a little bit quicker so you don't have to duck out for so long while you're trying to murder them so uh give that one a try i would recommend using grip as one of your attachments and then switch between like a silencer um thermal hybrid extended something like that red dot whatever you really think would work best on it uh, in this gameplay, I'm using Rapid Fire and Grip on the LSAT, but I really don't recommend Rapid Fire unless you're, like, trying to go for the win or something like that. Because um, Rapid Fire is really good on light machine guns, but not so good for saving ammo. Uh, moving on next to the perks that I would use. I would use I would stick to generally a class loadout that is similar to um, something that you would use normally. Like, you wouldn't just use a class that's specifically, like, 12, like, 8 out of your 12 points, or how many points it is, dedicated towards abusing trick shotters. Um, I would have, like, the regular stuff, like, Dead Silence, Focus. Um, on LMGs, I would use Stalker. Um, what else? Uh, Dead Silence, Focus, Stalker. Uh, I have Blast Shield on this class, but I'd really recommend using tack resist instead just so you can uh save up ammo uh, and then i have ready up and a pistol uh, the pistol is mostly just so i can move around a little bit quicker but it's also good if you want more ammo uh, if you want to go for like something like a chem strike or something where it involves you getting a lot of kills without kill streaks i'd recommend using 
um, specialist and putting on like something like scavenger, dead eye, sleight of hand, that sort of stuff to help you get more kills, uh, aware, uh, amplify, not awareness, and a bunch of other things that you think would help you get more kills, like ping, uh, and just those other perks that are really good for search and destroy. But if you're going for most kills like I am here, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend using, uh, what you might call it, uh, assault. The assault is going to help you get the most kills while you're kind of not in danger of them trick shotting you or stunning you or whatever. Um, so I would, I would use the IMS, the Sentry, or the Trinity rocket, whatever. Uh, the Sentry is a hit or miss because they you can like get a couple kills with it and then just re routinely start baiting tags, or it could lead them to a situation where all their tags kind of go away and they don't feel safe going for them. So it's a hit or miss uh, in the Trinity. They'll you'll usually just get kills uh, before they can push up, and they will just generally revive each other. But um, that, and then I would either use the Vulture or the Griffin, uh, just so you can you know stay alive and use the Griffin or the Vulture, and, and just kind of like help it get more kills while you don't have to shoot as much but uh that's pretty much it i hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay quote unquote i get trick shotted here and get absolutely destroyed uh i left the kill cam in for you guys too so you can see i got a uh, silent shot which is pretty good but uh that's it that's the end of the gameplay my name is citizen nuketown and i'm signing out peace guys